Myra movie sucks. I clipped the mic. <laughs> also, someone's car agrees with us. Okay, so like I said, My Hero movie sucks. Spoiler alert, because we gotta talk about this trash in this movie. I don't think it completely sucks, but there was some parts about it that really did suck, though. Like, the ending was so bad, it almost makes me want to quit the fandom. Right, but we have to start from the beginning, so... Yeah. I knew nothing about this movie, I went into it completely blind, I stayed away from all the spoilers... Which actually, you know what they did that I did not like is that they showed too much in the trailer, like a lot of movies have been doing here lately. Right. And why are you showing all the good stuff in the trailer? They shouldn't have showed all the stuff they showed. But setting up the premise, they go to an island that has like a thousand people and they're going to, and they're the pro heroes. You know, there's no pro heroes available. So they basically are doing heroing without the training wheels. Cool premise, if you ask me. Like a work program. Yeah, it's a, it's a cool premise to start with. So just to clarify, I don't like the movie, but it's got a 98% on Fandango, 4.9 out of 5 on Adam Tickets, and a 92% on Rotten Tomatoes, which I just think is way too high. The one thing that I, I did like, though, I did watch one review on it, but it was a non-spoiler review, and one thing that they did say is that they were like, there were tiered characters, you know, like you had your first team, second team, third team. Right. Which, I mean, I saw what they were talking about, but for the most part, I feel like everyone got pretty decent screen time. So the screen times weren't terrible for everybody, even like the lower characters like Mineta. Which didn't happen in the last movie. Speaking of, I just looked up the last movie. It's 100% on Rotten Tomatoes, 98% for Google users, and 7.6 out of 10 for IMDb. Well, the first movie was really good. It yeah, had it was a amazing. really good storyline, had plenty of twists in the storyline. The action was top-notch. I feel like this is where the movie fails. The storyline was just a little weird. So I premiered the movie one day in advance because I work at ABC, Aging Badly Cinemas. Always B-Y-O-L, bring your own lube. And um, Butt play. <laughs> I thought it was good up until the ending. Though I did think it was a little boring. It was definitely padded out. It unlike was like the first movie. It was a lot more slow paced than the first movie. Yeah, the original movie was more a movie, action-packed and compacted and as much as they could into it. This was definitely like an anime episode. You know where I feel like the storyline falls a little flat, and this is going to sound stupid, and I know because really they're not the main focus of the movie, is them not really having the pro heroes in the movie, which, I mean, they had the cool scene at the beginning with Endeavor and them stopping the League of Villains. That right. was cool. Yeah. But I think the absence of having no All Might, no pro hero really in the storyline doing anything hurt the movie. I mean, that Hawk guy is a pro hero. Yeah, but, but... he wasn't really like a mainstay in the yeah, movie. I don't even know who he is. I mean, I know who he is. Uh, Endeavor made the movie, of course, being the number one hero, opening yeah. fight scene, Endeavor, best hero there is. Could probably beat All Might, you know, because All Might can only defeat one Nomu, and, you know, Endeavor can beat six, sevens. Anyway, we're getting off subject. No, he, no, it's only because he fought a Nomu that was specially made to fight him. Yeah, well, Shock Absorbance doesn't uh, defeat Flames, I'm just saying, you know. Yeah, okay, uh, that makes sense. <laughs> uh, it's true, true, whatever. With the movie, though, ah, uh, you know one thing I didn't like about the movie? So, Shoto is supposed to be one of the, uh, the big three of that class. Yeah. They made him look like a pussy in this movie. They just did not show him to be as powerful as he could be. Yeah. And he just wasn't. Like, I just don't like how... I know that the guy that they were fighting, Chimera, was God. really strong. Hella strong. Yeah. But it was like Shoto couldn't do crap to him. Like, actually, his flames, which I don't know why he has flame powers, but he has flame powers, was stronger than Shoto's flame powers. Well, again, it's students versus adult villains, but yeah, you're right. No, they just wanted to focus on Bakugo and Deku, and that's where the movie geared you towards, and that's where they wanted to say. Yeah, I guess you you kind of already got it when it was Heroes Risings, and it only showed really them in the front, so. Yeah, which originally I thought it was going to be Lemillion and Deku. I would have much rather saw that. Yeah, definitely. Actually, to tell you the truth, though, I'm not the biggest fan of Bakugo as a character. I would have rather had Shoto and Deku fight Nine. Yeah, I hate Bakugo and I hate Ida, so yeah. this is my two least favorite characters. Yeah, well, in the movie, though, your main character was, your main villain was Nine and his group of guys. So you had Nine, Chimera, the mummy guy, 
Right. And the lady with the hair, I don't know what her name was. <laughs> it was kind of weird having the League of Villains in there at first. I, I don't know if that was just a nod to the anime, but that was kind of strange to just put those in and then took them out. Yeah. No, what's crazy is Nine, though. That man is retarded powerful. Yeah. He is stupid powerful. And actually, I see what they did. They kind of made him like a mini One for All, but he can't manipulate his powers the same way One for All could. Because One for All, if you remember, he can combine powers to make a power. Yeah. Nine can only use one at a time. Right. And I mean, that's basically what it was, was a mini One for All. He used experimental drugs from the League of Villains to be able to increase the amount of quirks he can gain. Yeah. He tried to take uh, one for all and said, I don't have enough space for all their quirks because you had to take all the quirks from all the previous owners. Right. Actually, I I like that because I thought he was going to get his power stolen. Yeah. And my whole prediction for the movie was he was going to get his power stolen and then he was going to figure out a way to get it back. Deku shares one for all with Bakugo and they both use it to defeat the villain. It's terrible. They're trying to recreate the ending scene of the first movie with All Might and Deku, but with Deku and Bakugo, and I just think it's garbage. The only thing I don't like is they made them look like they went Super Saiyan. Oh, God. Literally what it made it look like. I mean, I understand what they're doing there because they did it with him, you know, using his... that. They're just showing that his, you know, 100% form is, like, so powerful that, you know, all this power coursing through him, but... Yeah, you, you you literally they went Super Saiyan two. Now I will say though, I will say, uh, it was really cool to see one for all used by someone that was already a Cork user and watching their Cork get supercharged. That was actually pretty cool. Yeah, seeing I did explosion like get supercharged was pretty great. But that that ending is still trash. And then then they talk about that one for all is like self aware or whatever, and that's just retarded. Yeah. Well, it's because they're never going to come back to this because they want to keep it going straight back into the next season of the anime. Yeah. But My Hero was priding themselves into saying that all of their movies are going to be canon. So it's not like Dragon Ball Z, like Fusion, where you have them fusing into Gogeta, destroy the villain real quick, and then you don't mention it again. No, this was supposed to be a canon part of the story. Like, I know it's not from the manga, but the creator had complete influence over that movie, and they decided to go that way with it. Yeah. Which is real disappointing. Well, also, it's like I told my girlfriend. The funny part about it is, like, she, you know, he's like, oh, I'm sorry, All Might, I gave the power to Bakugo, I don't have it anymore. And I was like, well, that's stupid, because it literally says, you gotta remember, in the anime, and even in the movie, he's talking about how he became the world's greatest hero. So, yeah. of course he didn't lose it. Yeah, and we know there's another season after this movie. That's even more of a reason why I don't like this movie, it's garbage. I, it is a letdown because the first movie was so good. Yeah. And that was another thing. Like, they really wanted to have that last fight scene as, like, a heart-tugging thing that happened, like, in the first movie. It really was. I, like, you know, it made me want to cry in the first movie because it was so emotional. Right. And this one, the music and the sentiment of it was, I see what they were going, but I just didn't feel that way. And it's kind of crazy because I'm the emotional one, so I always get emotional during these scenes, and I just didn't. Well, it looks like that was the end. I got all my ranting out of the way. Let's see. We covered our bases. Uh, Endeavor's number one hero, best. He he made the movie with his three second cameo. Um, yeah. I don't like Bakugo. He is also trash. Uh, oh, I don't and, like how hard they hit the villains and they didn't die. That's yeah, just ridiculous. The ending was garbage. I <laughs> think we hit all the points. This is a good hey. episode. Hey. Right. Uh, oh, what the hell are you doing, bitch? You might have that fucking coronavirus.